privateers. So the solution that my friend proposed was a little plastic ring, well, a little plastic circle and some Teflon tape before putting in the epoxy. So far, we're holding, we're swirly. So we'll have to see if these ones clot after a couple days too. We will find out. I need that autofocus to work a little better. Or, you know, maybe someday switch myself to a fancy camera that I can actually adjust the focal length on. Won't that be something? I'm also extremely tempted to get a fountain because I saw some on sale and I think this mica would look pretty cool in a fountain. So we'll see if this marmot gives in to temptation. Some very tempting fountains and some not so much. I almost forgot. I did make one more jar for myself, just to make something really nice, high contrast. A little blue, a little yellow, a little splash of white. So it really has the highlights pop. But you might see it's quite spudged. So important safety tip, marmoteers. If you are washing epoxy off of your hands with some acetone and you see you spilled some on the plastic jar that you just sealed, don't use the acetone on the plastic jar. Bad plan.